from Beauregard, Alabama, the center of a tornado disaster zone stretching across four states tonight. At least 40 tornadoes reported, leaving an enormous trail of death and destruction. In fact, here in this community alone, at least 23 dead. In fact, the sheriff here telling me today entire families were killed in their homes together. You can see behind me here tonight, this home lifted right off of its foundation, actually flipped right over, and the cars and trucks in nearly every driveway as you pass through these neighborhoods are crushed. You can actually see the windows blown out or trees sitting right on top of them. And the worst of the tornadoes struck right here in Beauregard. Today, we were here when they actually came out and revealed that this was actually stronger than first thought. An EF4 now, they're saying, with winds 170 miles an hour. On the ground, think about this. It was a mile wide. 24 miles long this path. Homes, entire neighborhoods gone tonight. Devastation across several states. In Talbot in Georgia, a tornado ripping buildings apart. Neighbors there holding hands and praying along their shattered street. And here in Beauregard, they are mourning the dead tonight. In fact, we've learned the youngest is just six years old. You know, I remember standing in Moore, Oklahoma several years back. It was horrific then. And tonight they say this is the deadliest tornado to hit since then. Tonight, communities across the South ravaged. The Alabama community of Beauregard devastated by two deadly tornadoes that tore through at nearly the same time, taking a similar path, crossing over one another. Today, while we were here, investigators on the ground upgrading the deadliest of the two to an EF4. You just learned that a short time ago, yes. an yes. EF4. That's correct. Yes. Winds of 170 miles per hour? Yes. Traveling at 170 miles per hour, carving a path nearly a mile wide. In the end, a path of destruction 24 miles long. Among the dead, at least three children, including a fourth grader, Taylor Thornton. Authorities telling us today this is their worst natural disaster ever and the deadliest tornado in the U.S. since Moore, Oklahoma. Sheriff Jay Jones took us past the barriers today to show us the worst of the devastation. Homes with entire families inside lost in them. Two generations of, of, of people, in, in some cases, all in one home, and, and unfortunately, we're, we became victims of the, uh, the storm. None of them survived. Uh, none of the ones that we uh, located, they, they did not survive. Correct. First responders working in the overnight hours, searching for survivors. And we're told tonight the searching will continue into the evening hours again, going home to home, combing through debris. It began Sunday afternoon. The eerie, ominous sound of those emergency sirens blaring, ringing out across neighborhoods. Oh my God, dude. Torn oh my God. In oh fact, God. several dozen tornadoes tear across four states. <gasps> holy God, cow, holy cow, holy cow. The sparks seen in the distance. The pounding rain. People sheltering wherever they could in this bowling alley in Fort Benning, Georgia. All of them thankful to be alive. I oh thank the God. Lord. You tell God thank you. Lashobia Daniels and her family huddled together in their bathtub. And I just noticed that the wind was picking up, but I looked outside and I saw my horse running and the wind blowing. Um, that's when my husband asked me what was wrong, and I was like, I think it's a tornado. Her next door neighbor's home destroyed. The neighbors did survive this. They were grateful that they survived too. They made it through. By the, by the grace of God. Communities tonight grappling with the toll. Homes smashed to pieces, vehicles overturned. This tractor trailer wrapped around a tree. The roof ripped right off this local sports bar. Surveillance video capturing the terrifying moments. The tornado sliced it open. You can see the beds from the home. And this is what's left from inside the house. And it used to be sitting a good 100 feet in that direction. Homes were literally lifted off the ground and carried in the air. Sherry McClendon and her husband returning to this property. The family just sold this home to a couple months ago. They fear the news isn't good. What was the age range of the couple that bought this house? They were young. They were in their 20s. 20s? They were young, yeah. And yeah. they didn't survive? I, we hadn't found them. We don't know. We don't know. And standing with her husband, Billy, we looked out at the horizon every home gone. You know this this area and your wife was just trying to describe she's she was telling me that I mean there, there were homes all through here. Sure. Yes sir. All over the place. Yeah. Not anymore but yes sir. 
the devastation, the destruction, really as far as the eye can see here. And you know, one of the things I asked the sheriff here was how much time did families have? Were there warnings? He said there were alerts on TV and on the phone in the minutes right before this tornado touched down. The meteorologists had actually been talking about severe weather since last Thursday here. But he said this tornado came in so quickly, was so powerful, even for families who had, you know, safe places in parts of their home or places to run to if a tornado were to hit. It simply was not enough. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.